Okay. You're probably looking at me wondering what in the world is she doing? Well, I'm here to talk about something that you don't hear talked about a lot on uh, YouTube or anywhere else. Um, you know, especially when people are talking about beauty and it's all about makeup and just looking a certain way. And um, I'm here to expose a little bit about uh, the truth, the ugly truth behind beauty. Um, first of all, I'll explain what I've got going on here. You'll hear my lovely lisp because I'm wearing retainers. Uh, I had braces for four years when I was a kid. Um, like fourth through eighth grade basically. Um, and so still as an adult, I try to wear my retainers at night because I'm not walking around during the day talking like this. And I don't need to. Um, but yeah, I went for a period of time without wearing them. My teeth definitely move. I went through like a miserable, painful hell trying to get where I could even have them back in my mouth and fit right. So now I'm pretty good about wearing them at least a few nights a week. Um, because my parents paid a lot of money for me to have straight teeth. So um, yeah, I like want to keep that going um but yeah went through a lot of years of not being very cute because they were the big silver braces and your girl's got some lips so braces with these lips it wasn't very cute i went through a lot of uh being made fun of and torture but i'm appreciative now that my parents uh paid for me to have them um this lovely thing you see on my lip here would be this near face cream, um, hair remover, uh, and I've also got this little razor for the hair trimming, and let's be real, this is a nose hair trimmer. So what's my reason for doing this? What's my reason for filming this video? I'm putting myself out here in this like not very cute state, right? Well, the reality is, I feel like um, there's a lot of people who, if you grew up in a home where, like, I don't know, like, you might not know about the things. You see people in magazines. Come on, let's be honest. As women, we look at these beautiful women and we're like, oh, they have such beautiful skin. They have, you know, they don't have these things that I do. How come I don't seem to notice other people with, like, hair on their upper lip or super fuzzy sides of their face and you know their makeup looks so flawless because they don't have this little fine baby hair everywhere and um the reality is it's because well photoshop and airbrushing is a huge part of it but for the average person that you see out walking around that you don't notice those things on some people are honestly just blessed to not have them but the reality is a lot of us do and um, some people just don't know that there are these things out there that they can do to help with that kind of stuff. Um, I know people in my life who I see that I'm like, oh gosh, like she has hair coming out of her nose. But let's be real, you're not going to just tell people in your life like, hey, you got some nose hair there. Or you got a little mustache happening. You know, whatever. Now, if it was my mom or my sisters, I'd be like, oh, hey, you got... But the thing is, the reason I know to take care of this stuff is because my mom's always done it. And so my mom and my sisters do it too, so I don't have to tell them. Um, but most of us wouldn't want to walk around with, like, no hair coming out or having a mustache if we realize that it's there. Because some people honestly just don't. And if you're fine with it, that's fine. Like, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is we look at people and we see this level of, like, perfection and beauty that we feel we have to um, try to at attain. Or not even that we feel that we have to, but, like, we want to feel pretty and not feel like we have, like, these kind of gross things happening on our faces and whatever. So, that's what this is all about. It's the ugly truth behind beauty. There has to be some ugly stuff that happens to help us, like, have those things about our face and skin and stuff that we, um, you know, consider 
beautiful. So I, I would say once every other month usually. My hair doesn't grow too dark. Um, occasionally I'll get like a couple little darker ones because I do have dark hair. That'll be on the edge that a lot of times I just pluck, which feels miserable. But um, but yeah, there is Nair Face Hair Cream. And you leave it on. Do not leave it on for more than 10 minutes. Test your skin because if you have sensitive skin, you might not want to leave it on that long. But um, I have made the mistake of leaving it on for more than 10 minutes. And whoo, it was not good. I had for like four days like this red, it kind of scabbed. Not good. So you have to be careful how you're doing that. But, um, I also recently just discovered, I'm not kidding, like, I'm talking this week, that they have these fabulous little razors. And guess what you can do with them? You can dry shave the little fine hairs off of your face. What? I have had, like, crazy you know, fine hair all the time that my makeup, you can see it like just sort of sits on and down here I get some of them and like I never knew and I've tried using the like face hair cream, you know, remove, hair removal cream on there and I like broke out really bad so I never did that again. So I just thought, well I'm doomed to just have these little fuzzes. I didn't realize that they have this simple little thing that are super cheap. Like, okay, I just bought this pack of three at Walmart yesterday that were under $3. What? So, like, that's something I didn't know about. That now I'm like, oh my gosh, this makes a world of difference. Like, I can just, you know, take that little hair off. It doesn't leave me some kind of chemical thing that's going to make me break out. And my foundation, my makeup will lay so much nicer. Also, like, when you're in the sunlight, that's when I would notice it. Like, in the car, you look in the mirror, and you're like, oh, my gosh. Like, I'm super furry, right? And like I said, if you're fine with that, that's fine. Like, I don't look at people and go, oh, her face is really furry. She should do something about that. But, like, if you're somebody who looks at people and are like, why does their foundation look so flawless on their skin? Mine is like, I feel like I have all these little hairs everywhere. Well, there's, like, a solution that you can do. And probably the grossest one that I'm going to talk about right here. Is trimming nose hair but let's be honest like a lot of us have nose hair and it grows and sometimes it grows past now I'm not like way up in there because you need nose hair it's there for a purpose but the ones that are like sticking out further than your nose I just touched the screen um like simple little nose hair trimmer just go around the edges boom done and like these are just simple things that you can do that are not at all glamorous but that make you just feel better about the stuff you've got going on in your face. So it's sort of like a little, like if you're really into makeup and beauty, you probably already know all these things. But in case you're someone who doesn't know, I just wanted to put it out there. Like people don't usually naturally have these flawless hairless faces. Sometimes you have to do things to like clear it up a little and that's okay and there are options out there and so that's kind of what I'm doing a little public service announcement that if you like feel like you have you know this hair on your face or like hair on your upper lip things like that that you don't know what to do with or um you know wonder why your foundation doesn't seem like it sits perfectly flawless on your face like it seems to on other people those are simple things that you can do to um like remove hair, remove nose hair, remove remove this little face hair, and hey, sometimes people gotta wear retainers. And my kids like laugh; they cannot handle this why I use wear them at night because if I talk, like my eldest son is like, I can't even take you serious right now. <laughs> so, but just being real, like beauty takes some ugly things sometimes, and that's all right because we're real, we're normal people. Everyone's just a normal person. And yeah, some people have like a lot of money to be able to take care of all this stuff. But the reality is most of us don't. So get yourself some nair. Get yourself a little face razor. Get yourself... <laughs> this is my husband's. So yeah, and I clean it before I give it back to... Like, 
before I use it and before he uses it. Like, we're not swapping those hair because that's kind of nasty. But, like, just simple things you can do to um, help have, like, you know, those types of things that you can do things about that, like, you feel kind of gross about, you know, whatever. There's options out there, and um, sometimes we don't even really realize that we have, like I said, it's, like, in certain lighting, you'll be like, oh, my gosh, I have, like, hair on my upper lip. Um, actually, somebody I watched, a fellow YouTuber, she was talking about that her, I think it was her fiancé at the time, um, they were, like, standing in the kitchen, he's like, um, you have something. She's like, well, I got food or something, you know? And he's like, no, you kind of got a mustache. <laughs> like, sometimes we don't know it, but once you do, you're like, oh, gosh, I don't, as a woman, want people to look at me and think, oh, she has a mustache. So, like I said, if you are fine with the hair on your face, then be fine with it. Like, this is not like, oh, you are nasty and you need to do something about it. Because that's not at all. That, that's the kind of stuff about beauty that ticks me off. Like, you do what makes you comfortable and what makes you feel pretty. It doesn't matter what other people think. But I'm saying from somebody out there who it does bother me to have some of these things, to find out about some different products and things you can do and to realize that you're not nasty if you have to remove some hair off your face. Like, the reality is a lot of people do. And there's these options out there. So, like I said, I, was, I just discovered these fabulous little razors and it's like, life-changing, cheap, super easy. So, in case you don't know about these things, just wanted to put them out there and let you know, like, sometimes beauty ain't so pretty. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.